Now, I saw this thing with Glorilla not too long ago when she was trying to say men try to trap her into getting pregnant. And then the whole viral makeup thing came out at the same time, which is a little bit crazy, but I'll show you that in it. I thought it was really interesting that Glorilla came out and said this. Glorilla is on an amazing run of, of elevating her image and her persona. It, it felt like it wasn't that long ago. Hold on, let me see something. It felt like it wasn't that long ago when Glorilla was like, you know, people were paying her attention, but not like this. So... This clip has been going around of her on Charlemagne, and she said that men be trying to trap her. Let's see. Oh, call a procedure. Are men really trying to trap you and get you pregnant? Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you handle that? <laughs> uh, one eight hundred. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so you really, in the record, you said that you might have to get your tubes tied. Yeah. You don't really mean that. Yeah, but like I do want to have kids, but not my own kids. Like I want to do the surrogate. Yeah. Yeah, I want somebody else to have my baby. I want them to have my DNA, but I don't want to have it. Like. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Why? Just because of your career, or just you just don't? I just don't want to actually have a baby. Yeah. Yeah. What? What? Did you see somebody have a bad experience that made you feel like I don't want to carry no baby? Like all my friends got kids, and they just like they can't do it. They restricted a lot when they pregnant. Now I'm like, nah, I don't want to go through that. Oh, it's just for nine months. Ah, uh, that's too long. <laughs> You got a, a record with Lotto. I mean, listen, uh, you know, it's easy for Charlamagne to say it's just not months because we're men. You know what I'm saying? We can never uh, like really truly understand. But yeah, I think men out here really trying to trap girl real. I mean, if you would do it out here trying to trap a female into being pregnant, you're honestly a weirdo. If you see a woman doing her thing and you're like, you know what? My golden ticket right now is to get this girl pregnant so I can sit back. Because I feel like this, even if you're a dude who believes in himself and you got any type of thing going for you in real life, I don't think anybody would just sit back and say, I'm going to get this girl pregnant to get myself a lottery ticket. Even if the girl made more money than you, I don't know what type of backbone you got to have to even have that type of thought process. But me personally, I don't think that could ever be me. And I saw a video because I understand that when people get famous, they start to look different. All right? Because money makes a lot of people who don't really look the greatest look great. Hold on, let me see something. Because I want y'all to see this clip of Glorilla. This is Glorilla, and this is a video that was going around of her without makeup and what she looks like. Now, we only see celebrities under the spotlight. A lot of times, we don't really get to see them in their rare form. You know, because people like who are regular people get judged all the time because we, are, we tend to be in regular form. A lot of them go get their body done and we get kind of far away removed from what they look like before they had a lot of money. But truth be told, I don't think plastic surgery or anything takes away from what your DNA, your genetic structure made you look like. But I guess she kind of addressed it, um, acting like y'all don't see me every two business days without makeup is crazy. It was just some ugly, <laughs> ugly ass eyebrows. You know, but that's why I could respect Glorilla. But my point of this video is. Are there really men out here running around trying to get women pregnant on purpose because they have some shit going on with their life? Those type of men to me are just extremely weirdos. Personally, it couldn't be me, but I know a lot of y'all are out here probably trying to do this. I got a motherfucking video shoot today, but I just need to let y'all know inspirational motherfucking message. Bitch, what God got for you, nobody can take it away. No matter who you is, no matter what you say, you can't be God. Y'all can talk shit all day, every day, and guess what? I'm still going to win, because guess what? God on my side, and a hundred motherfuckers can't tell me nothing. Bitch, what's up? See, I can respect Glorilla. I don't think there's anything wrong with the way Glorilla looks. I think it's just a lot of stuff wrong with a lot of these dudes nowadays who do weird stuff and put women in these predicaments to how to have to make that choice. I think Glorilla is cool, and one thing I can respect about Glorilla is her ability to be herself a lot of people seem like they're putting on an extra gimmick but at least she is chilling she seems to be genuine true to herself i could fuck with that but if this is really true and you simps are out here trying to get women pregnant simply because they got some stuff going on to sit them down you're truly a weirdo and i hope you never come to the surface level because if you do we're gonna have to cook your boots oh so i guess she actually went on her own rant the ugly ass motherfucker makeup video acting like i don't show my motherfucking bird face every day bitch what's up you see me 
Fuck you mean? Bitch, I show y'all my motherfucking birth face every motherfucking day. Y'all know what the fuck going on. Nose and all. <laughs> fuck, bitch. Yeah. Big fat motherfucker sitting in the center of my face. What's up? How you making Oscar go? I don't know how to make my Oscar move, y'all. Acting like motherfucker ain't never saw this shit, bitch. Fuck wrong with these hoes. I don't ever play on my motherfucker talking, bitch. I get on live quick. Bunny. Her and I done. No, what, ho? Okay, Glow. Jealous? Okay. Are you jealous? How I look? Ask your man. Ask a friend. Okay, Glow. Ask a hater. Ask a fan. <laughs> okay. Like, I won't get on her 100% like, what, bitch? Y'all see me with, my, with everything 100%. Don't stop playing with me. Bitch is mad. Fuck. Cutting up before this motherfucking show. Y'all laughing at me. I'm damn motherfucking sick. These bitches on her playing with on my top about it. No disrespect to the girl. It really is disrespect because you know you, you're not supposed to upload the ugly ass video anyway. But shout out to her. She probably got better after two years or whatever. But don't upload no picture and you know they make up one crew. Yeah, you know, this is what happens. The makeup artist probably wanted a viral moment. Um, she put the video out, made Glorilla look a bit, a bit bad, but Glorilla is so authentic herself that uh she came and put up pulled up on y'all with the bonnet. A lot of women wouldn't even be able to do that because a lot of women don't really want you to know what they look like in their natural element. Now, granted, Glow still has upgraded her teeth. She upgraded her smile. She upgraded her body. So these things start to naturally take over. So, But I don't think a lot of women would have had the courage to do this, except for the real ones who are we in a wave of like ratchetness is being embraced. And I could kind of fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to Glow for clearing that up. But once again, I could kind of see why there may be dudes out here moving funny. A lot of females are doing the right things. There's a lot of dudes doing the wrong things these days. This is a bad look for the fellas, but y'all let me know your thoughts about that. I'm gone.